One of the big things that people come to me for as an emotional freedom techniques or tapping practitioner is working with their body image. A lot of us don't feel comfortable in our body because of what we learned when we were a child. Maybe someone told us, that, you know, on the playground that, you know, that sweater is ugly or you're stupid or you're whatever, right? And it actually impacts not only how we feel about ourselves, but how we feel about our bodies. This can impact how we hold ourselves at work when we're trying to get a new job. This impacts how we hold ourselves in our relationships, how we believe we should be treated. Right? So all of these things come forward. So one of the things I do is help people work with what is their body image and what is their confidence level about it and how does it impact how they interact with food and alcohol. Some people overeat as a protective mechanism. Some people overeat as a way to self-console because they don't feel good. Right? There's a, some people undereat because they don't feel their body image is good enough. They're not whatever it is that they believe. So if you're struggling with your body image and you're struggling with your self-esteem around your body, working with emotional freedom techniques can really help you align yourself with something that's more healthy and more confident and more powerful for yourself. So that way when you're out, well, when you're alone and when you're out, Right? You have confidence in who you are and how you choose to present yourself to the world.